Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back to the channel, everybody, where today we'll be talking about the ISS Jelly, because probably the question I've gotten asked more than any other question in the past few weeks, because we've been having all of these events that require the jelly or encourage the jelly, and more and more players are getting to that level, level 36, to start earning the jelly shards. I figured, hey, let's take the time to actually go through, is this still worth building? Because a lot of people ask, well, should I just get the Valdor or the Kelvin or the Katinga? Should I skip this entirely? What should I do with the ISS Jelly? The first, technically kind of first four-star ship in the game. There's others, but we're just going to stick with this for now. So, simple answer. I'm going to answer at the very beginning of the video. Yes, I do believe you should be building the ISS Jelly. And even though you've heard myself and other content creators talk about how it is not a very effective PvP ship, and that is true, it is still very useful for your game. And if you're following the strategy that I have laid out for a lot of you and that others have laid out, with example, camping at level 39, this is a very important part of your journey. And what you'll see as we go through what the jellyfish can do and as you level it up, you're actually going to be using this quite a bit in your gameplay and it's going to help pay for itself. And that's the big key. It pays for itself and that's what's really nice. So let me talk about what I mean by paying for itself. So you can start getting the ISS jelly at level 36 is when you can start procuring the shards. That's where the event comes up. We'll talk about the three different ways you can get ISS jelly shards. That's when the event starts showing up and then you can build it at level 39. Now mine is at about at tier five, like right at fresh tier five with varying costs for, for objects. And, and we'll go over costs in a second, but the main thing that I think that most people enjoy are the events. Now at level 39, you will get the Parabellum event naturally. So you don't need an ISS jelly to get a Parabellum event, but you do want it for the ISS jelly brawl event which is going on right now. Now, what this event is, is a simple grind event. You go kill 50 hostiles with your ISS jelly. That's it. All you need. Yeah, it's simple, simple. Now, here's what you're going to get paid out. And this is why it's so important to start having this ship because it's an immediate infusion of resources. Now, in total, let's go through all the different levels of the rewards. We're going to start off here, 60. And we'll just, just look at the uncommons. Look at the uncommon gas, look at the uncommon ore. Moving on to tier two, 23329. I'm at level 41 for those curious about my rewards, but you can get this at level 39 as an event. There's 550 uncommon gas and 300 uncommon. And then here we get seven, almost 655 uncommon ore for me and 1200 uncommon gas. So I'm getting right around what? 2000 uncommon gas, a thousand uncommon ore for four star, as well as very important commons and ship parts. Those are huge huge paywalls for you and grind walls in the game because in three star you're not used to these right here ship parts become an issue and commons become an issue now they have greatly improved the economy because you now can get the commons with a four to one ratio from latinum instead of 10 to one which what it was early in the year and in years prior so for if no other reason than two events parabellum and iss jelly brawl now you only need the jelly for the jelly brawl but having those two events and the jelly making it easier to actually perform those duties makes it a very, very good ship to use. Now, let's talk about my jelly at tier five. I have upgraded the warp range and it currently has a warp range of 85. Now, this ship can also go and get much higher in warp range as you would expect. And if you go ahead and get it to max, well, you're going to notice that your jelly is, uh, well, let's just say it reaches pretty far. And for those curious what you can do now, I will, <laughs> let me preface this by saying the highest I typically recommend taking your jelly is maybe tier eight or tier nine, simply because of the resources involved, you don't really need that much. But if you get that to say like tier uh, eight, tier eight is, I think, um, yeah, if you go tier eight and then just buy the warp engine, it's going to be warp 105 that you can reach. So I can get 20 more here by just going up a couple more tiers. And if I went one tier less, which is still fine, can keep in mind that it is a jelly. So I went to tier seven and then bought it. My warp range would be 100. And using things like the TOS Scotty and then the regular Scotty, you can reach pretty deep into space. And if you wanted to go high enough, you could even make this into a warp 120 ship, which is very important for a lot of players. Getting to warp 120 is big. Here, we'll talk about cost 
of the ISS Jelly real quick for early calls because I know it's a big concern for a lot of people. So if you were to look at this right here, this is the tiering cost from tier one to tier three, raw costs, not counting any efficiencies that you might have in the game to make it cheaper. Tritanium, a little bit under two billion. More importantly, look at the uncommon parts and the common parts. Those are gonna be big for a lot of people. This is why we really stress at level 39, maxing out efficiency resources. If it says pure or it says efficient, you need to be doing it as high as you can possibly do it before moving on to the next level. You see the uncommon ore and the uncommon refined gas quite a bit. But as you just saw in the video I played, or I'm sorry, the event that I showed, just the ISS Jelly Brawl gave me about a quarter of the uncommon refined ore I needed to go up to tier three. And so what you'll find is because we're running ISS Jelly Brawl and Parabellum every month during arcs, and typically we've been getting a minimum of two Parabellums and a minimum of one Jelly Brawl. They've also been very generous and been giving us three Parabellums and two Jelly Brawls recently. So with all that you can get at level 39, you are able to start upgrading this very quickly. Now let's add in another layer here. What if we wanted to go to tier seven, which I haven't even gotten yet, there are the raw costs. Keep in mind, raw cost does not take into account any efficiency researches and things that you have done. This is just pure raw cost. So it's not that expensive. If I was to actually hit the upgrade button here and then pick say my shields, you can see in the background that uh, I've got right at 16,000 ore. I will have the ore I need by the end of the month to go to 20. So I actually will not be spending on the ISS jelly anything ore because all ore is going to be going to upgrading what I need for my buildings. But you can see the ship parts that I'm going to need. See, this is a big reason why I need to go do the ship parts for ISS Jelly Brawl, the commons, and then the uncommons. But you can see in terms of raw cost, this is me going into tier six parts, not costing as much as it would appear on the screen that it would because of the efficiency researches that we can have. So you have events that now make it very important and the cost is not really that deep. Now there's three ways that you can earn ISS Jelly shards the first way is through the event now the problem with the event is for especially a lot of the mid and newer servers only one person wins the jelly every time it goes around the good news is if you win a jelly you're no longer going to see the event so at some point everybody can probably try to work towards it now on server 20 and this is something that we really should be fighting the devs on putting tickets in complaining about if you're level 36 on server 20 uh, five people unlock shards for the jelly and the top two people get a jelly so if you get first place or second place you get an entire jelly if you get place five you get something like a quarter of the shards every server should have that opportunity with the exception of maybe the newest ones like server 75 maybe they shouldn't have access to a full jellies like that but most servers should especially if you're a year or so older you should have access to that so if you don't tickets 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 you need that to be improved that is the first way to get the second way you can get ISS jelly shards is if you go into your store, your Epic Armada pack at level 36 will start paying out ISS jelly shards. You can also at level 38 have a chance of a full pull ISS jelly, though admittedly that is a pretty low chance. And while I'm sitting here, I'm going to pull an uncommon chest so I don't forget it. And I got literally nothing I needed out of that. So that was a complete waste of my time. So backing out. And then the third way that you can get ISS Jelly is if your alliance owns a three-star territory, you can have the ISS Jelly service. And if your alliance activates it, here's the cost. One shard, 6,500, 45,000 ISO emulsion for five, and then 500,000 for 15. And there is a cooldown here of about a week. So the problem with this is it is not the best way to do it by itself. But if you were able to get, say, an extra five a week and you were using your Meridian and you're mining ISO and refining it at high amounts, then spending maybe getting five a week would actually greatly increase the rate of you getting your ISS jelly. I talked about this before. It took me over a year to grind out my jelly without buying it because the packs are, you know, it's $800 to buy the ship outright when it is in the store. If I was to do this and I did not have this option originally, this would have greatly sped it up by weeks. It took me a year to grind out an ISS jelly through doing armadas with top level alliances and going through events where I placed in two events on server 20. I think I placed third place and fourth place plus the armadas and I was finally able to unlock an ISS jelly. Most people are able to do that way quicker now. Just kind of speaks to how the game has changed in a positive way to allow you to get some of the ships that you need. So those are the three ways that you can currently get it, not counting an in-app purchase. Now, the good news, if you're out there going, well, who has the services? 
every three-star territory in the game now has the ISS jelly service. Before there were only three of them. Now all six ISS, or all, I'm sorry, all six three-star areas in territory can pay the ISS jelly service. So it's not just limited to those one or two mega well alliances because they can't control all the map. So if you are in just Epic or in DM DMFL, which I think they're like rank 12 on our server. I mean, they've got an ISS jelly service that their players can start grinding for ISS jelly. Chaos uh, on here, Exco. So we've got not only top five alliances on our server that have it, but even top 15 alliances that have gone after and secured the territories needed to get that ISS jelly service. Once again, this is just used as an additive. It's not the main way you go about it, but an easy way. So at the end of the day, the ISS jelly is a very effective tool. And if you start grinding for it at level 36 through things like the events, or just by procuring shards and at level 39 build it not only do you have parabellum which you would naturally have now you get iss jelly brawl and these events are going to help you get ready for a big push because i don't recommend going just to level 40 and a lot of the higher level players will tell you the same thing that when you go from 39 you really want to make a push and my goal was to push 40 41 42 and be 42 by february like i want to spend maybe a month at each get through the basics and go now, because of all the very, very nice payouts that these past two months have had in terms of uncommons, I'm going to be going to level 42 by the end of this month or the beginning of January. Haven't decided yet. We've got about a week and a half left in December. I might be pushing that to early January, but my goal was to do it by February. So a full month ahead of time, and I'm going to 42 and I will have spent very little time at 40 and 41. That's what I recommend for most people. And the jellyfish has helped me do that. And I also use the jellyfish for deep space grinding. I have my auger, I have my enterprise, but I will go out to places like Hollis now and use my ISS jelly to grind out here. Not to mention, and this gets undersold a lot. There are researches for this, but the warp speed on the ISS jelly is so much better than using something like even your, or like your Burrell or your auger. A warp speed of 11 versus warp speed of 14 really matters. You're talking about a 15 minute flight time now taking 10 minutes. You know, things like that start really becoming more important to you as you level up in the game. So here's my thoughts on the ISS Jelly. I want to know what you think on it. As we wrap up here, I'm going to throw the cost up just so you can have those during the wrap up portion of the video today. If you enjoyed the video, I ask that you hit the like button. It looks like this. Just smash it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video out with your friends and family. If you've not made it to this level yet, don't worry. Keep this in mind because a lot of people are questioning, should I get the ship? Answer is yes. I feel like this video proves that answer to be true. And if you're above this, well, share it out with some of your alliance mates who could maybe benefit from the knowledge. And as always, I encourage you to leave your comments down in the comment section below. If you have comments about anything, I do try to spend some time going through comments and answering questions. Also, Discord, Facebook, however you want to contact me, I'm there for you. I appreciate it, everybody. I love y'all. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for those space cowboys. Sorry for the length of this video, but I feel like the ISS jelly is an important topic. Deuces. That's me. That, that's my name. And I'll catch you on the next one. We outie. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.